I'm involved in the Jakarta community in quite a few different ways. So I have been involved in Java E from essentially from the start, almost from the start, uh, almost 10 or 15 years of involvement. Uh, and I had something to do with the uh, technology even moving to the Eclipse Foundation. I helped found a little group called the Java E Guardians uh, that is now, of course, the Jakarta E Ambassadors. Uh, aside from that, I'm uh, the lead for a, a project called Cargo Tracker. Uh, basically, what that does is it takes Jakarta E technology and shows how to use it uh, with different well-known architectural paradigms, uh, primarily domain-driven design. I'm also a committer on the uh, Eclipse starter for Jakarta E. Uh, and of course, I try to uh, stay engaged in as much of the specifications that I can. Uh, more recently, I'm the Microsoft representative uh, in the uh, steering committee, as well as the marketing and branding committees and so on and so forth. So um, I'm involved really in many different ways. This is a technology that really means a lot to me, um, which is why I've been involved uh, for 10 or 15 years with it. Uh, for me, this is a foundational technology that really makes Java, helps make Java worth it what it is. Without it, uh, Java, the entire Java ecosystem wouldn't be as vibrant and as strong. So really, I consider it a very, very much a privilege, uh, you know, in, in terms of being involved in this community and being able to commit to this technology. Now, what do I enjoy the most? Obviously, it's the sense of purpose of why I'm doing it. But other than that, actually, uh, I've been in a number of different uh, communities over the years, different open source communities and open standards communities. Uh, the Jakarta community actually is significantly more open and more professional and more cordial. Uh, and I think that really has a lot to do uh, with you know, how the Eclipse Foundation runs it as well as the uh, core commit has started it. Uh, so all in all, uh, I think if you're a professional developer and you're looking for sort of a nice, uh, um, you know, cordial place to contribute, I think uh, Jakarta would, is a really good place for that. Jakarta E as a technology has its own unique challenges. Um, it's not a new technology, it's been around for a very long time. With all uh, technologies of this age, uh, there is baggage, right? So there is a, a perception problem that we need to solve uh, for Jakarta E in particular, uh, really underscoring how important this technology actually is, even if you're not using an app server. Ultimately, you are dependent on some of these technologies. Uh, and of course, there's offshoots of that, right? So again, when you have a technology this mature, it's always a challenge to keep uh, the core stakeholders interested, you know, keep them profitable, making it ma meaningful to them, as well as me making it meaningful to uh, basically the millions of Java developers out there. So those are the primary challenges of Jakarta E. Uh, it's really more about keeping a really old, but also a very important technology set alive and vibrant. Uh, hopefully for another 10 or 20 years. There's many different bits of advice you could, you could give. Uh, there's not a particular one, uh, but the one that I would give is just get started. Right? Uh, you know, it, there's a lot of different ways of contributing to something like Jakarta. There's many different facets. Something as simple as simply writing a blog entry or uh, you know, delivering a talk at your local job or even at your company or at a conference, all the way to actually leading a specification and delivering a specification. There's an extremely large set of things that, you know, all need contribution. So I think as a committer, my general advice would be, you know, uh, if you're interested in this technology, and I hope many developers out there are, uh, you know, you can basically get started wherever it is that's convenient and then learn your way. You know, there's a large ecosystem of different things going on and then eventually you will find your place. Uh, and there's a lot of people that will help you contribute and help you find precisely what is that place and what is it that you would really like to contribute. <laughs>